Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, November, uh, the 10th of November. I'm Giovanni Benacur, analyst, educator, and also a uh, trader with Vantage Markets. Well, the uh, Consumer Price Index reading for October is set to publish today, and economists expect it to still be hot, but hopefully cooling. Year-over-year year inflation for October is expected to have eased slightly to 7.9%, down from 8.2% of, of September. But here's a tidbit I did not find reassuring. The annual inflation rate came in above forecast in six of the last seven months. While it'd be a good sign if CPI comes in lower than, than September, that doesn't mean the economy is in the clear. Far from it, actually. Remember, the Fed's goal is to bring inflation all the way down to 2%. And don't forget the labor market, too, has yet to show any meaningful signs of cooling, which are, we're going to get also the jobless claims today. Effectively, whatever number comes out this morning, that's not going to change the reality that there are more interest rate hikes on the deck. There's a high likelihood of a recession in 2023, but today's CPI print will determine just how aggressive the Fed stays with policy. I'm expecting inflation to have eased more than consensus predictions. I've been watching core CPI in particular, which exclude food and energy prices. A mild recession for next year is looked as our baseline outlook, 55% probability. If core inflation comes in greater than 0.5%, the Fed will raise rates more and we will be reevaluating the probability of a recession and probably raising it higher. Now, soaring inflation has put the Fed on its most hawkish campaign since 1980s, and the longer it continues, the higher the risk of a policy mistake and a downturn. Wall Street so far remains mixed on whether policymakers will up for the fifth consecutive 75 basis point rate hike in December, but traders are currently betting on, a, on greater odds of a half-point move. Now, last month, core CPI was 0.6%. Today's is expected to be 0.5%, and anything below that is going to play toward reducing the Fed's hike at the next meeting. So if it comes in below 0.5, that encourages a, encourages a 50 basis point hike in December. Anything above that will push toward a 75 point move. A 7.9 headline reading is expected, but that, that any surprise drop in inflation could bode well for stocks. Now, seeing a step down in inflation of this magnitude likely pulls the 10-year yield below 4%, currently 4.15%, and triggers a sharp rally in stocks. This may also reset the yield curve lower with terminal rate expectations falling under 5%. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at what we could consider for today in the markets. That being said, if, like I said, if we see that the the, uh, the number is better than expected, 7.8%, for example, and we see that yield curve lower on the 10-year note, then with that we could see a chart rallying stocks. So therefore, you know, the stocks would, you know, the, the NASDAQ could perhaps come, come up and reach the, uh, our resistance of it around 11,500. And then the uh, well, S&P 500 just, just broke. Okay, the CPI just came out, right? So... Let's take a let's see what happens when the CPI uh, about to come in out. That will be an implication that it is good number coming out of the CPI. So we see that rally in stocks. Let's take a look at what it implies for crude oil. Crude oil seems to be moving uh, higher. I, I do expect uh, for this to 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 settle and see if the crude oil will actually retrace going back down to at least $82. Now let's take a look at what we could probably see on regards then of the nut gas. Nut gas is trading right above 550 below six and the uh, October CPI data is, and also the initial jobless claims is about to come out. So that, all of that is positive for stocks look at how look how they, they're moving higher so that is a good number good sign let's see what the number is gonna be the uh, also we have we're gonna we're gonna have today the uh, jobless claims and also the cpi number coming out all right so the consumer price index is uh, up uh 0.4 percent versus the uh, 0.6 percent estimate so that's the core 
So we're going to be seeing what will be the year on year. So that's actually a better a better reading. As I said, if the reading was the core, the core CPI was better than than the 0.5 percent, that could trigger the yield curve on the 10, on the 10 year note to lower below four uh, to come to four percent or even better, and that would that we we should see a rally in stocks, and that's what we are seeing so far in the stock market, at least uh, on what on what is the uh, Nasdaq and obviously the um, S&P 500. The Dow should be also uh, running. Let's see what is happening with gold. Gold took a pop, all right? So gold took a pop, it moved higher, all right? So yeah, okay, CPI, excluding the uh, the food and energy is 0.5%. So that, obviously, all of those things are positive. At least it comes out as expected. So look at gold, how gold took a nice pop to the upside. Uh, silver also took a nice pop to the upside. And this is Bitcoin also. Bitcoin took a nice jump. All right, let's take a look at the euro. The euro also took a nice move to the upside above what is the parity. Uh, pound is also, and let's see. All right, so here we come. Let's see if the dollar index, what will happen to the dollar index. If the dollar index comes out and tests the 109 and, and bounces from here, we could probably then see a retracement on the S&P 500. But if the uh, if the dollar index breaks 109, okay, and and trades below it, we could probably see the S&P reach 44,000 or 4100 uh, around that area. So that's what we've seen right now. It's an exciting moment uh, for traders. Uh, it seems to be that that uh, after the uh, CPI comes in below estimates, uh, futures have soared. So Apparently, the uh, the Fed's job is cooling off the uh, inflation, and this could be uh, good. Uh, this could be good for obviously for the economy. And so perhaps a fifty basis points uh, could be considered for December, or even perhaps a twenty five basis points. All right. Well, I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day, and see you tomorrow.